Hey everyone, this is Matt Wasik, and today I want to show you the process of how I go about basically getting a PBN and basically the purchase process and registering it, getting hosting and installing WordPress, building out the first dummy article, the, the plugins I use, and a whole host of other things like that. This process here generally takes about one to five days depending on how long the person that you are purchasing your domains from takes in order to source those domains for you. And so the gigs that I use and I highly recommend are linked right below this video and you can check them out for the sellers that I recommend. They've always had amazing customer service, quick turnaround, and the domains they give me are top notch. And if they are not top notch, they've always furnished with a new domain that is just as good, if not better than the previous one. One. Because sometimes with expired domains, they may have bad links being pointed to them, or they were hit with a penalty from Google, a whole host of other things, and yes, you can reverse penalties, but in most cases, it's going to be best to just get a new domain. So basically, what you'll want to do is create an account on Legit or whichever freelance services website you are going to. You can also get these from Fiverr, but basically, you're going to want to go to the SEO section and go to PBN domains. You don't want to get links because if you're buying links, that's going to be someone writing an article and doing what we're going to be doing with our own PBNs, but th this is a service where someone can do that for you on their own websites. But I like control. I like being the one that is running the show and is in charge of everything, and I know exactly what type of content is going to be on that site that I'm going to be putting content and sending links to my money site with. So, and so yes, it does involve a little bit more work, but trust me, control is always worth it. So you're going to want to go down to PBN domains, or if you go to the link below, it'll take you straight to the gig, but you need to have an account on legit. And basically what you'll do is make the purchase and then you will select the niche that you want to have it in. So if your website is all about water damage restoration, you'll want to have a domain that has some topical interest in perhaps maybe real estate or maybe there are domains about water damage, something of the like. You just want it to be relevant. You obviously do not want a website that was about tennis and have content on it that you're going to be sending links to your water damage restoration site, if that makes sense. I'm going to pause the video here, order up a domain. I will come back and then and show you the process to take from once the person sends you the domain to then start building out your PBN. Two hours later. And so essentially what happens is during the time that the person has to fulfill the order, they then go out and source the domain. They then they will send it to me. They had already checked it through Majestic, which we talked about in earlier videos, with how to look at just the overall health of that domain. And then registration at GoDaddy if I want to do that. But I'm going to be using Namecheap. So there is the domain there. And, that, and obviously this is blurred out because I'm going to be using it on a client site. But basically what you're going to do is copy your domain name and you're going to hop over to Namecheap. And so from Namecheap, you're going to enter in your domain and hopefully you were paying attention to the earlier video that talked all about getting your domain registered and getting hosting. It's the same exact process. The only thing different about this PBN is it has existing metrics and that it was an expired domain. The process that we go about with getting hosting, that sort of thing, is essentially the same exact thing. There is one thing that you need to be aware of though. If you are using the same hosting company, for example, I use HostGator a lot. However, you're gonna to wanna to have different accounts because with the name servers that you're going to be registered to your site, you do not want them all on the same account because that is going to leave a footprint and that's not something you want to have when it comes to Google for trying to get your sites ranked in the search engines. However, if you really want to be lazy, which I don't recommend doing, but for an extra level of protection for what you can do for your PBNs, or you could do this with your money sites and not your PBNs or interchange it, but you would just basically create multiple accounts on cloudflare.com. It's a 100% free service. You just want to create the free service level and follow the steps and through the protocol. They have amazing tutorial videos in there. And what you basically will do is when you go through the step, they will give you name servers to basically copy and paste after you initially set up the name servers from your hosting account and put them in neighbors, name server one and name server two under custom DNS in your Namecheap dashboard. You basically do the exact same thing for Cloudflare. It's gonna take 24 hours, 48 hours for, for it to propagate, but then you are good to go. When you go over to whois.net and you type in a site, you will see Cloudflare's names for your name servers. So it's an extra level of protection, highly, highly recommended, and it is a free service. There's a link to it down below as well. So next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is log into your cPanel via the link that was sent to you in the email that you used when you had signed up. There'll be the username that you had signed up with and then a password generated. Log in there and then you'll end up here. First things first that I like to do is just add a, an email account or two to the site. What we're trying to do here is create a website that looks as natural as possible. Yes, we are basically using this website to just 
increase link popularity for our money sites, but we need to make these sites look as legit as we can. So what you're gonna wanna do is maybe create a couple email accounts, maybe one being info at your domain, and the next one can be contact at domain, or if you wanna have a fictional character and basically have your PBN site be a blog, and you can make up a name for that blog, you can certainly do that. So you're gonna wanna go down here to software, and you're gonna do quick install. And we're gonna install WordPress. Again, this is exactly like when we had done it on our website initially. So you're gonna to wanna to follow the same exact protocol and do it for your site, and then click next, create your username and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna pause the video right now and then join back once the installation is complete. Okay, so our installation is complete. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is basically just open the domain in a new tab and copy paste your username and password and log into your site. Okay, so we're in the back end of our new PBN and we're gonna update WordPress. I guess there's one that's needed right there. I'm gonna click coming soon, get that set up, get rid of some of this other stuff that we do not need. And okay, now, okay, so we have all of the plugins now installed onto this site. If you are this far in the course, I trust that you know how to install these, but I'll give you a quick rundown and there will be list of these in the Facebook group that you can get access to just in case that way you can save it to your computer and you know exactly which ones to install, as well as alternatives to those plugins that have the same function. But again, we want things to look natural. We want things to not have a footprint. So for example, of this, you don't want to use all-in-one SEO on every single one of your PBNs. You want to switch it up, use Yoast on some sites, and and just basically just change things up a little bit. So we have all-in-one SEO pack. We have Cognito Forms. You can also switch this up with Contact Form 7 or really any type of contact form builder and basically put that on your page and basically create a page for it. But being as we don't want it to just look like some spammy, crappy, shitty blog, we want our site to look legit. So we're gonna have a contact form. Next up is disable comment. There are multiple creators of these types of plugins, but this one that I chose is by Samir Shah. And then Google Analytics is automatically installed on the new WordPress site. Then Google XML sitemaps, and then the sitemaps for videos, sitemaps for images, all by Emit Agarwal and then also Arnie Bratchhold for the XML sitemaps. Then you're gonna to wanna to have a security plugin. WordFence is great for PBNs because they're generally small sites in most cases and there's not a lot of content on there. There's not like a big theme or anything like that. You're not gonna be using 3 Architect or anything like that because it does slow sites down that have that installed. If you are using a bigger theme, you can use something like iThemes or a whole host of the other security plugins out there. And lastly, WP Content Copy Protection and no right click. Generally, these sites do not get a lot of traffic, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So now what we're gonna do is go over here to Pages and there will be one dummy page here. You can just delete that. And we're just gonna create three pages right now. We're gonna do the privacy policy and we're just gonna save it as a draft for right now. And then we're gonna add another one and it'll be terms of service. And actually I messed up. I did not load this plugin in yet. It's called Legal. And I mentioned this in other videos, but basically it allows you to create terms of service and privacy policy pages very quickly and easily. And what you'll wanna do is basically just take the information from legal and copy that information, paste it onto a privacy policy page and a terms of service page. And that way you have those pages right there. And so the next page we're gonna make is contact us. And eventually we will be putting a contact form here. Very, very easy to do. And we're gonna do one more page and it's gonna be about. So we're just gonna say, this is Johnny's blog. So what I recommend that you do is basically create a persona and kind of establish the tone of writing. Now, I'm not saying you need to be a college professor level writer by any means or anything like that, but if you're gonna be writing your articles in somewhat of a serious manner, then write the about us on the website here in a serious manner. If it's gonna be kind of jokingly, then do that accordingly, and then also do that within your articles. So it doesn't need to be anything too long by any means, but we just want it to be basic and straight to the point. So next we're gonna go down to settings and we're going to click writing. What you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do is have this some type of ping set up for update services. This should automatically be generated by WordPress, but if it's not, contact your hosting company. They'll be able to help you out with that. 
And so one thing that you really need to make sure that you do is have every single article here in this one as full text because that way it will give you the maximum link juice sent from the homepage of our PBN. Next, you're gonna to wanna to come down here to permalinks and you're gonna to wanna to set up just for post name here and click save changes. So when it comes to the menus that you're gonna to wanna to set up is basically go down here to appearance, click menus, create a new one and have one for your terms pages. So with the legal app, they will create the pages for you. You can create a separate page like we did earlier. Otherwise you can use the pages that the plugin creates and then just copy the link that's provided and put it here in the custom link and then use privacy policy, terms of service, and then click save and you have a menu right there. And so then you're gonna to wanna to create a new menu for the top part of the page. So we're just gonna do main, then about, contact us, add to menu, and then save. And so next we're gonna go and find a theme. And so one of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do when it comes to the theme that you select is one, you wanna make sure it's popular across WordPress and that it's used often. And two, you wanna make sure that your posts, which are gonna look similar to this, you wanna make sure that they will be displayed on the homepage to get that link juice, increasing the rank of your site. So to go find a new one, you're gonna to wanna to click add new and you can scroll through popular and just kind of see what's out there. Again, you just wanna make sure that it is one that is used often because we're trying to really just blend in on when it comes to Google. So you're just gonna to wanna to find one that's maybe related to the niche that you're in or what your site's about and kind of go from there. One of my favorite themes for PBNs is, is a theme called sparkling. Some of the other ones here like blog personal would be a good one. I mean, one thing to make sure is you do not wanna use the same theme on every single PBN because that's going to leave a footprint and that does not look good in Google's eyes. So be aware of that. And so we have our first post right there. So what we can do is basically change up the slider if you want one, um, any of the layout, that type of stuff. I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time doing that on this site in general, as well as in, on this video, I'm going to keep things very, very simple for you. One thing though that I want you to make sure that you have set up is your menu. So we're gonna come over here, this is our main menu. We're gonna have this be the primary menu. And we have that up here at the top. And we go back down here to the terms menu and we're gonna make that be the footer links and it will update and be down here at the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna to wanna to create a dummy post. You're gonna to wanna to go over here to posts and this is where we're actually gonna be putting our content with our articles and linking out to our money site is through posts and they will show up on the homepage because we have those settings set in place. So the first one you're gonna see is called Hello World. I recommend just putting that one into the trash and then going over to the trash and deleting it permanently so that way it is gone. So that is gone and so what we're gonna be doing is creating a dummy article that's gonna be almost exactly like our actual articles that we are linking out to. This first one is not going to link out to any of our money sites or anything like that. We're just going to be grabbing a link to Wikipedia, a high authority relevant page to the topic that we have at hand with our article. So I'm gonna pause the video, write out the article, get some imagery and embed a YouTube video and then link out to Wikipedia and I will be back. Okay, so the article is all complete. It is just over 500 words. You're going to want to have at least three to 500 words on every single article. And you're going to want to follow the on-page SEO guide, which I had covered in earlier videos. And in the Facebook group, there is the list that is downloadable also. Because you want to make sure that you have your titles and your permalinks and all of your metadata is all set up to be optimized for what it is that you are trying to basically do. Because this particular PBN is going to be directed towards a landscaping business's website in order to get that site to rank higher in the search results. And so so we have something pertaining to landscaping services and the benefits of it, which sets the tone for this particular PBN. And that's what we're gonna continue to do when we send links to that site. So you're also gonna wanna make sure you have categories established for your posts and make sure that they are relevant to the topic at hand. So we linked out to Wikipedia here with relevant anchor text. And then also I had links to a Washington Post article that goes kind of in depth with some landscaping ROI type of stuff. And then we have an image here, which you're gonna to wanna to have on every single one of your articles, one or more. This particular image is from my library that I have from when I had my landscaping business and I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. If you don't have any, go over to any of the photo sharing sites that are copyright free, such as Pixabay, to get relevant images for your posts. So then also embedded a YouTube video, which pertains to the information in the article, super relevant backyard landscaping ideas by HGTV home and garden channel. 
And so now the article is all complete and I've already published it, but what you will do next is click publish and there you go. You'll want to just check back within the next two to three, maybe up to five days, depending on Google's crawling to see if it has been indexed. And then once it has been indexed, you can then start creating articles and linking to your money site. And then you will basically just do the same thing with additional PBNs following the exact same protocol here. Obviously you want to make the site look a little bit different and the content is going to be different and that sort of thing. But it is relatively the same exact process that you can then refine and then start just building more and more and more and getting your sites to rank. So that's how I build out my PBNs. If you have any further questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you'd like this type of content, be sure to go down below, smash that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, then what are you doing? Go down below, hit that subscribe and click the bell for notifications. So that way, you know when the newest content comes live here on my channels. And with all of that being said, hopefully this will help you with building your PBN 